Have you ever been stuck in a meeting you felt like was never going to end? I know I have. Check out this week's episode of Agent Hacks. We're gonna go over a quick method that will help you manage meeting time so they don't run over and they don't waste your time because that's the most finite asset. The real estate industry is full of people doing things a certain way because that's how they always have been done. These are not those techniques. If you wanna get punched in the throat with the most aggressive and innovative ways to generate business and run your real estate practice, check out Agent Hacks. I'm Tom Tool. Welcome to Agent Hacks. Thanks for tuning in. This week, I wanna go over a method, a hack that has really helped me manage my time better, almost second level from putting everything in my calendar no matter what. So, Tom Ferry, big shout out, mentor of mine. I coach with him, a lot of people know that. He says something frequently that if it's not in your calendar, it doesn't exist, and I could not agree with that more. However, what I would level that up to and, and go to the next hack or the next methodology you're gonna believe in that's gonna manage your time better because time's the most valuable asset, no question about it, it's completely finite, is timing meetings. So this not only goes for client meetings, but it also goes for internal team meetings, meetings with interviewees. Any sort of time you're committing, they should be timed and there should be a clear expectation on what's going to happen during that meeting. So one of the great hacks that I use, I will set a timer. If it's a half hour meeting, I put a timer on my iPhone for 30 minutes. When the alarm goes off, the meeting's over. Everyone knows that I'm gonna do that. And these are internal to business meetings. This is not client facing appointments. I'll walk you through a little hack there in a second. But that sets a clear expectation that if there's things to talk about, we gotta cut out all the nonsense, get right to the point, have an agenda and make sure we're getting our questions answered and are moving on and being super efficient. For the client meetings, a little different. Obviously, when I'm meeting on a, on a, with a potential seller at a listing appointment, I'm meeting, or my, someone from our team is meeting with a buyer, we wanna earn the loyalty and get the agreement signed. There is no question that's the goal. So I'm not telling you to get up and leave from those meetings. Let me be super clear with you. What I am saying is set an expectation up front. Let them know, hey, I'll be there for an hour. Or maybe you have somewhere to be, you gotta pick up your kids, you have to go meet somebody else. Let them know that you have a limited amount of time or that there's a hard stop at a certain time so that you can be ready to get through everything, get to your agenda, and go for the close. A little different with the outward meetings when you're meeting with a client versus the internal one. Regardless, what all of this is going to do is stop from that 30 minute meeting turning into a half, uh, 45 or an hour long meeting. It's gonna stop that hour meeting from going an hour and a half. You're setting expectations, you're using an internal control, and it's gonna help you manage your time better. Hope you found this hack helpful. I'll be back next week with another one that's gonna help you run your business more efficiently, more effectively, and if you have any questions, ping me on social. Thanks for watching.